Southern Terminus, Pinote Trail, March 10th, 1130 a.m. Here we go. Hang on, everybody. It's going to be a wild ride. Tower at uh, Flag Mountain, Alabama. The highest point in Alabama, I think. Not 100% sure about that. But anyhow, we are going to take off and really get started on the Pinhoti now. All right, later. Oh, yeah. Huge shout out to Leland. Um, lives in Georgia. I drove down last night, stayed in his cabin. It's real, <laughs> like a house, uh, Lone Creek. And uh, then he hauled me down here to Alabama this morning. About a three hour trip, six hour round trip. So, great guy. So, thanks, Leland. Uh, oh, you, buddy. Thanks. CCC cabin, Flag Mountain. Uh, pretty nice, really nice. I think these things are free. Even it's pretty incredible. Okay, more later. First snake of the year. <laughs> Almost stepped on the poor little fella. Alright, go have a good life. Oh, there's something you don't see very often on the Pinhoti Trail. Woo! Bridge. Maybe there's a lot more of them. We'll see. In day one, um, stop pretty short today. Five, five and a half miles or so in. Got a 15 mile road walk first thing in the morning. And as soon as I get off that road walk, I'll start looking for a place to pitch my tent um, just not feeling good today woke up with some kind of sinus thing this morning and had some stomach issues if you know what I mean and uh, so just called it early today uh, you saw me setting the scent up my tent my scent my tent up and uh, we're gonna just chillax here for a while and rest up and hear hard tomorrow. So, looking forward to that roadblock. No, I'm not. I'm lying. <laughs> All right, catch y'all later. Well, it's uh, let me switch over this hand. All right, six o'clock. March 11th, Monday morning, day two. Uh, and I, I didn't feel good yesterday, so I was in my tent at six o'clock. Took me a nice little nap till about 7.30. Got up for a little bit. And uh, uh, went back to bed. Tried to sleep. So, Finally at five o'clock this morning, I'm like, eh, I'm just gonna go ahead. It's actually, it's actually spit rain a couple times last night, and it's uh, lightning. There definitely ain't no stars out. It wasn't supposed to rain today, but maybe it's going. So I want to get packed up before it started raining. You know, a lot of times it'll. It's gonna rain in the morning it'll start right at daybreak so i wanted to get an early start so, i don't know the guide says it's a 15 mile road walk coming up gut hook app on my phone says it's a 10 mile so i guess we'll see and then we still won't know anyhow all right hope y'all having a great monday morning later Think you'll be able to see it. There's an armadillo. What in the world am I doing? He's 
Mike's hiding behind the trees. <laughs> He's funny. There he goes. Uh, probably didn't see him. Oh, well. Trust me, it's an armadillo. Second one I've ever seen in the woods. Both of them in Alabama. Oh, by the way, feeling a whole lot better today. I may not sound like I feel better, but uh, I do. And uh, I think uh, whatever sinus thing or cold uh, come on yesterday, uh, the Theraflu is knocking it out. So that's good. Okay. Later. I see another armadillo. Maybe it'll be daylight. Uh, there's an interesting development. Oh, we can real see it. Look at that. That's interesting. I guess we're gonna go down here and walk across the creek. Check it out. Been walking in these in this lodgepole pine forest now for I don't know last I don't know three four hours. You uh, I'm wearing black shoes. You uh, think there might be some pollen here? I think there might be some pollen here. I'm not sure. What do you think? Yep. As you can see, I'm not in the woods. Um, this is Wednesday, the 13th. Um, no video yesterday. I got super sick yesterday and uh, Ended up, I had to, I got a hold of a guy that runs a hostel in uh, Talladega. And so I had to walk about seven or eight miles to, to meet him somewhere. And, excuse me. I went to, uh, I went to, uh, clinic here in Talladega and found out I had bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, I'm gonna stay here for a day or two and recover. This were this is the house, the boxwood house. Uh, it's a historical site here in Talladega. The guy that runs the hostel is renovating the house. I'll so we're staying, uh, the hostel's in the carriage house around by, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, 
Apparently the house was built in 1854. Uh, I've been in the house. It's, uh, you know, it's an old house. <laughs> you know what? You know what? How uh, the old houses are. I'll run back and show you the carriage house. Uh, I haven't asked Jeff what this building used to be. Uh, it's hard to say. 1854 could have been slave quarters or something. Nice little log building here. I haven't been inside it yet. I don't know what it was for either, but he calls that the carriage house. That's where the hostel's at. There's uh, oh half a dozen beds upstairs, a bathroom downstairs. It's being renovated also. And the showers and the uh, upstairs in the big house. So, this is my home for. I got here yesterday afternoon. I'll probably probably leave sometime Friday and get back on the trail. I hope. I hope I feel 100% better by then. We'll see. All right. Later. All right. Thursday, March 14th. Oh. There's a leak down there. Uh, I am slack packing a little bit today. Just see how I feel. Um, probably walk about six miles or so. And uh, hopefully uh, things go well today. I'll, I'll hit the trail tomorrow. Cause I was just going absolutely stir crazy sitting in that hostel yesterday. Cause I felt pretty decent. I wanted to be doing something, but there was just nothing to do. So, anyway, so I get out today, get to see a little bit. And if I come across anything interesting, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, it's Friday morning, March 15th. Finally hiking out of Talladega, getting back on the trail after two full days. Well, Almost two full days off to recuperate from the bronchitis. And feeling pretty good. Already got rained on big time this morning. <laughs> and a nice little electrical storm. A couple, a couple of lightning bolts pretty close. But nothing too hazardous. And just glad to be back on the trail going absolutely just absolutely stir crazy in that hostel nothing to do and, uh, but it was uh, I needed it and uh, they the people that run the hostel were just super 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 nice and, uh, and then uh, on Tuesday when I got into town I was so sick I mean they uh, even offered to take me into the into their house and, and take care of me I was like no no I'm a big boy I take care of myself it's a nice little view and so it just finished raining so the uh, fogs laying down the valley it's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to cool off after this uh, front so a cold front coming in so that's good. It's supposed to be down the city of Dallas, Talladega. It's supposed to be um, like low 60s, uh, mid to upper 30s at night for the next three or four, three or four days. So it'll be cooler up here on the on the ridge lines, but that's okay. I brought uh, I brought cold weather gear that I haven't used yet, so it'll be good. Alright, well, I will uh, roll the phone out if anything interesting comes up. I'm hoping y'all have a great Friday. Thanks. Yeah, stuff like this really puzzles me. You can probably see the power line coming up through here. Looks like, looks like a fairly new transformer. There's the meter. 
So the, the aerial lines are coming across this valley, up here, where there's nothing, three miles on the trail, back down to the nearest road. It's going to be a lot farther than that, the other the north to the next nearest road. I mean, it's got a meter base, so the power's going into the ground. They're doing something with it, but there's, there's absolutely nothing here. Are they, I mean, I mean, somebody went to a lot of expense to run a power line up here and it's doing something, but what? There's nothing here. I mean, absolutely nothing. No cell tire, no water tank, no, 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 I mean, there's just nothing here. It just, that stuff just boggles my mind. <laughs> You never know what you're gonna see out here in the, on, on the trails once you get off the highways. Crazy, man. Later. Yeah, getting some views through the trees. I know it doesn't show up as well on the phone, but it's pretty. Uh, looks like the sun's gonna come out. There was a little brief shower come through there just now. Maybe that was the last of it for today. It's not supposed to rain again. And uh, it's like almost no chance till uh, Sunday a week, so should be uh, should be some good hiking this week. Should be able to knock out some miles, see some stuff. Yeah, people complain about power lines. You know, out in the wilderness, out on the trails, messing up natural beauty. But by golly, they really open up. They really open up. Uh, open up the views. Uh, power lines are some of the best views that you're uh, that I come across. So, yeah, there's the man-made structure, but man. At least you can see what's around you. Yeah. Okay. Later. Alabama is finally giving up the views. Same valley, but down there you might be able to see that power line uh, across a little bit ago. But still, bring it on, Alabama. Sunshine over there. <laughs> still, still sprinkles rain on me every now and then. I don't know. It's supposed to clear up. So whatever. Later. <laughs> oh, we agree. 100%. We know we're good company. Following your stand? Yeah.
doing there?